Hi, this is Nancy to Crohn's Intuition, and I thought that I would just um, speak a little bit about this time of the year. Now, I love this time of the year. Um, of course, the autumn with the, the, the beautiful colorful leaves, and of course, they were so beautiful here in the mountains of Western North Carolina. And there are still some, you know, around, but there are also a lot of them on the ground. And I remember when I was a child, they would rake them up into piles and burn them. But before they burned them, I would jump into them and roll around in them and just with abandon. And it smelled so good. And then when they burned them up and down the street, that smell was just, it was just what autumn was all about. And now I enjoy going to the local uh, orchard and getting fresh apples and oh they oh it just smells so good when you walk in there just the aroma of all the different apples but more than that what i like about this season is things slow down and i look forward to that i have never really been a big summer person i love my favorite my favorite season is autumn and then spring, and then winter, and finally summer. Uh, I lived 19 years in Southern Florida, and I've had enough summer to last me a lifetime. So in 1978, I moved up here to the mountains of Western North Carolina, and I gave birth to three Tar Heels. <laughs> My husband was born and raised right here in this very property where we live now. And I am a happy crone. <laughs> I have been blessed. Oh, I have been blessed. Um, wonderful husband. Loving husband. Oh, my goodness. He worked three jobs so I could stay at home with the children uh, when they were growing up. And then when they got into high school, I went back to work. Um, and uh, that was just wonderful being able to stay at home uh, with them, thanks to him. And uh, we've just had a wonderful marriage. And so that's another reason that I feel blessed. And of course, the children and then the grandchildren and my grand dogs um, are very important to, to me. And... Um, of course, I've talked before about the tarot community, but what I wanted to, to talk about today was about the slowing down. Um, I think it's, it's, it's good to have a time of introspection, and that's what part of what I do this time of the year, uh, especially after the holidays, after Christmas, um, on into the new year. Um, I sort of hibernate. Um, now, I don't mean get in bed and pull the covers over my head, but just the slowness of it, I like. And I like to be able to read and ponder and think and remember, go through old photographs, um, remember things that that were so special in the past that sometimes we tend to forget. And then when we look at a photograph, oh my, you know, it just all comes flooding back. And so I, I enjoy that. Um, I love reading. I like fiction and nonfiction. I like historical novels and uh, history. I like pretty much everything. I, I wa have watched the new Dune movie uh, that has been made and I am totally captivated. Um, so I want to start reading the, the Dune, the series of Dune books. And I, I'm looking forward to that. And I look forward to the, the next new movie that comes out. I love stories where a new world is created. Um, Dune came before Star Wars. And there's a lot of the concepts of Dune in Star Wars. And then there's the whole, um, oh, what is that... Um, what is that movie? I can't, I can't think of it now. James Cameron did it. Um, 
in the other world with the great big people and Sigourney Weaver was in it. Oh, it's on the tip of my tongue. Well, anyway, that's a new created world, and I thoroughly enjoyed that, too, as well. Um, and uh, I look forward to the sequels to that. It's taking forever. But that's okay. That's okay. I can wait. I got time. <laughs> um, and I, I, I thought, you know, that I would read a poem to you today out of a book that I have. It's called Ten Poems to Open Your Heart. I have way too many books. Uh, and Roger, H-O-U-S-D-E-N, compiled this poetry. And I wanted to read you a poem that's called Kindness. And it's by Naomi Shahab Nye. And I hope that I can do it credit because it's a beautiful poem. Before you know what kindness really is, you must lose things. Feel the future dissolve in a moment like salt in a weakened broth. What you held in your hand, what you counted and carefully saved, all this must go so you know how desolate the landscape can be between the regions of kindness. How you ride and ride, thinking the bus will never stop, the passengers eating maize and chicken will stare out at the window forever. Before you learn the tender gravity of kindness, you must travel where the Indian in a white poncho lies dead by the side of the road. You must see how this could be you, how he too was someone who journeyed through the night with plans and the simple breath that kept him alive. Before you know kindness is the deepest thing inside, you must know sorrow as the other deepest thing. You must wake up with sorrow. You must speak to it till your voice catches the thread of all the sorrows and you see the size of the cloth. Then it is only kindness that makes sense anymore. Only kindness that ties your shoes and sends you out into the day to mail letters and purchase bread. Only kindness that raises its head from the crowd of the world to say, it is I you have been looking for, and then goes with you everywhere like a shadow or a friend. Isn't that beautiful? So there must be sorrow along with gratitude and kindness. I have the Goddess Dream Oracle. I'm going to pull a card for us. I love this deck. Oh, it's just so beautiful. So, let's see what we come up with. You know, each one of my decks is like a friend. Uh, some friends you see every day. Other friends you haven't really gotten to know yet. They're, they're new friends and you don't really know them. Then there are other friends that are old, tried and true, that you've had from the very beginning. And they've grown with you. They know all about you. Some of the decks are like that. And then there are the decks out there that are to come. How we look forward to the future. That's a good thing. Let's see now. We want a card for the collective from the Goddess Dream, Goddess Dream Oracle by Wendy Andrew. Let's, oh, here we go. Let's see what it is. Opportunity. Expand your horizons. Isn't that a beautiful card? Let's see what it says in the book. Just looking at it, there's a bunny rabbit and there's a, looks like a hawk with that curved beak. And there are fall leaves, the night sky, a 
mask, maybe ceremony. I think ritual is very important. I enjoy that in my practice. Let's see, here we go. It's in between new beginnings and passion. <laughs> All right, opportunity. Expand your horizons. Eagle Woman, oh, it's an eagle, okay. Eagle Woman is here to offer you a chance of great opportunity. Are you ready to leap into the unknown and stretch your limits? You may have to leave the comfortable and familiar behind. How far are you willing to open your wings and show that you can fly? How high can you soar? There may be those who admonish you for taking flight, <clears throat> unable to comprehend your need for freedom. Their chance to fly will come. For now, Eagle Woman calls you. She may teach you a clearer way to see Things may seem much brighter from the higher perspective. All possibilities are laid out before you. She will show you, too, how to change from seeing the big picture to being able to focus on the small but important details. She will teach you how to filter out distractions, making opportunities crystal clear. Eagle Woman may ask you to fly so high that for a time you may be alone, weaving new original patterns in the clouds. The power of the eagle has come to you now for a reason. Do you have some difficult choices to make, or are you lost in the small details of life and unable to see the wood for the trees? Perhaps your life has become too mundane and routine. She comes to tell you that there are golden opportunities waiting for you. She reminds you to spread your wings and feel yourself being lifted on the thermals. Let go of limiting negative thoughts that keep you stuck and embrace the opportunity to rise up and soar to great heights. And the affirmation is, I am open to new opportunities. I let go of all that keeps me stuck and explore new ideas and ways of being. I really like that. Because you know what? We don't want to get stuck. It's easy to get stuck. Just the same old, same old. You know what I mean. But you know what? There are new adventures out there. I mean, we don't have to climb a mountain. I can't climb a mountain anymore. Well, I never could climb a, you know, a mountain like mountain climbers do, but I did love to walk in the forest around here. And I haven't been able to do that for for a while, and I, I do miss it. I do miss it. Because there's something about being with nature that just makes you whole, doesn't it? I think so. So I enjoy some of my oracle cards that, that have to do with nature. It kind of brings nature into me, into my heart. Um, but anyhow, that's another, that's another time and another ramble. <laughs> I just wanted to say hi to you today and how much you all mean to me. And um, thank you. Just thank you for being part of my world. This is Nancy at a Crohn's Intuition, wishing you many, many blessings. Namaste, my friends.